This is part 7 of the Blender Game Engine tutorial series for beginner Blender users. Okay, so in the previous lesson we took a look at these dynamic objects bouncing down here like this. Okay, well so for instance, let's say you're creating a video game and you want something to happen. Like, um, you run into an object and it switches to another view or another scene altogether. You know, maybe it switches you inside a restaurant scene or something like that. Uh, or maybe you're firing on something and your counter is running over and over again and it reaches to a certain level and you want to switch over to another scene in the game like that. So what I'm going to show you how to do is how to switch scenes, create new scenes and how to switch scenes and then later on in another tutorial I'll actually show you the setup for colliding objects and actually making the sw scene switch automatically. We'll just do the scene switch via the keyboard right now. So notice this up here is called the main scene. Right? And the, what we want to do is add a new scene and the easiest way we're just going to either we could either add a new scene but when if you add a new scene all by itself we'll do it notice there's I mean it's nothing in there it switches o over to blender render whereas we were in oh no hang on were we in we should not have been let's go back to the main scene see we're in blender game but it switched it over to blender render it took out our it just basically s sets from scratch so I usually I'll get rid of that and from the main scene instead I'll press plus and I'll say full copy. I'll just make a full copy of this scene. Now, there's a lot of ways you can do this but this is just one way and, to, and call it, it instead of main scene dot zero zero one I'll call this the second scene because it's no scene in particular. Yeah, but I'll differentiate it by changing the colors here and maybe make the ground there we go make it blue like this. Alright so now if we switch between the main scene there we go and this scene same thing in the second scene though since it was a full copy all these keyboard actions and physics objects are still active but I don't need but to verify that it is a real copy I can get rid of say this object in here delete and if you look in the main scene it's still in the main scene alright so nothing changes when you make a full copy I have a tutorial on in one of my playlists either on the 2.63a or the quick tip tutorials that teaches you what to do as far as these different types of scenes alright so and this still works like this alright so what we want to do is we want to switch from the main scene to the, to the second scene via the keyboard and later on we'll switch via a counter or an action happening within the scene so we have our second scene. Now this is important because when you're within the game engine, you, you need to associate uh, your game logic bricks over here, these things, with a particular object. Right now the cone is selected, so it's associated with the cone. But if I was to, say, at some point decide I don't want this cone in the scene and I deleted it, then I would also be deleting those those logic bricks as well. So what you want to do is you want to pick something in the scene that's that's for sure going to stay in the scene forever like maybe the plane your main plane in the scene might stay there forever or you could create an object out here in space called your main scene object and associated with that would be all your logic bricks and they stay there forever so, but for right now we'll just use this plane as our for our logic bricks all right so we'll go into into the logic editor like this logic brick editor will add a keyboard sensor and we'll use say the oh, the S key for switching scenes and we'll add a AND controller and because even if there's only one input that's going to make it true if you had two three four five or six they all would have to be activated at once of course to work and then for the actuator we want instead of motion like we did before we'll use the scene actuator and then from here what we want we want to switch scenes so over here in this mode we don't want to restart the scene we want to set the scene and then we go choose the scene and there's our second scene like that so when we go back into this window here and run the simulation press P and there it takes off like that now if I press S it switches right over to the other scene just like that of course now I'm stuck in the other scene right so to not be stuck in the other scene I'm gonna have to do the same thing over here I have to go do this and instead switch this over to the main scene because it was a copy of it like that so let's do this let's run this from in here now when I press S is that right 
Nope, I goofed that up. Hang on, let's see what I did. Let me see, let's go over into here. Set scene. And that should take me back to the, oh no, that's the main scene. Let's go to the second scene. Oh yeah, there was nothing set in there. I was looking at the wrong scene. I knew that seemed kind of goofy. So wait a second. So in that case, then I accidentally changed this. So, so in the second scene, we have to do the same thing. We need a keyboard controller. We'll make it S as well. An AND controller. And a scene actuator. This. And this is going to be set scene, and this is going to be back to the main scene. Like that. Okay, now that should do it. All right, so in fact, even even from within the second scene, we should be able to go to the first scene. So there, that's going. I press S. Hmm. Okay, that didn't do it. Let's go to the main scene. I press P, and I press S, and I press S from in here. Okay, so I still don't have it right from the second scene. I go into the bricks. Maybe maybe I was making a going too fast error. S key. There, oh, lovely, huh? All right, yay! All right, I'm trying to speed these tutorials up, but I always pay for going too fast like that. All right, so I'll save that file now. From within here, we should be able to press S and go to the main scene. Press S here. This here. Got the idea? All right. Well, I hope that helps you with your games or simulations or whatever, and I'll see you in the next lesson.